Hi friends, now we will see how to develop Mule microservice using Anypoint Studio and we will see how to deploy our application into Docker image. First we will see what is a microservice. Microservices are small independent services that work together which means a larger application can be broken into set of smaller component. Each component will be running as a separate service that is called microservice. A microservice can be developed by a small team, 2 to 4 developers. It's easy integration and automatic deployment. When changes are occurred in a certain part of the application, only the related service can be modified and redeployed. It's easy to scale and integrate with third party services. High scalability. Demanding on services can be deployed into multiple servers to enhance the performance. Now we will see what is a Docker. Docker is an open source project that automates the deployment of application inside Linux containers and it provides the capability to package an application with its runtime dependency into a container. Now we will go for demo. How to create a RESTful web service using Gramel? Then we will import the Gramel file into Mule Studio. Then we will see how to deploy our Mule app with the Docker image. Uh, first, we you need to install Docker in your local machine. Okay, I am using Windows, so. You have to go to this URL docs.docker.com Docker for Windows. You can download Docker for Windows here, the stable version. You can install it in, in your local machine. Okay. Once your Docker is running in your local machine, now we will see how to create RAML file. Okay. Go to this URL anypind.mulesoft.com website. Create account for yourself. Okay. Then go to the API manager. Then you can see the windows like this. Okay. Here I am having the RAML file. So my path is account. So I am having four APIs get API, post API, and put API, and delete API. So get API getting uh, all the accounts with marking the response. So the response data would be like this. Okay, similarly the post API. So we need input data to create the account. So we can validate our properties in JSON properties. So the mandatory field. So this is the format sample schema for validating input parameters. Like say for example the properties name properties type string the schema id okay it's mandatory it's required true okay the response http status code would be 201 account will be created with marking some response json response similarly put operation based on the account id we are going to update some data the input data can be validated through this schema similar to post operation similarly delete operation also okay so once you have a raml file you can download this raml file in your local machine then go to your anypoint studio okay you can import your raml file into in your project i have this raml file so once the raml file is ready right click this raml file go to mule then click generate flows from raml so once you have completed this action uh, you can see the api.xml file the flow will be created put operation delete operation get operation post operation okay so uh, your application is ready in your local machines now you can run your application go to your project 
right click go to runners and click mobile application with maven wait for few minutes so once build is completed your application is ready to run i have already downloaded these packages under the maven.metadata.xml file in local machine so first you try to connect remote it's not available in the remote so it's available in local machine so maven build is success now our application is going to run wait for 1 minute to launch api kit yes our application is deployed in local machine now you can see microservice account api okay so for get operation click get okay simply click get operation you can get the response i go to hundred response with mocking body of the content so the post operations so this is the body of the content which you want to post click this yes the post operation also to not one the account is created successfully now put operation we need account id 1 2 3 4 5 6 we can give so the data which you want to update click put operations so 200 with it, the res marking the response similarly delete operations so which account you want to delete the account id click delete operations so you can get 200 with the marking response account is deleted successfully so now we have created raml file okay then we have imported raml file into any point studio and uh, uh, we build our applications and we have tested locally it's working fine okay now we are going to deploy our application into docker image so before that stop this application so you need to export your project click export click any point studio project to mule deployable rk file so in this location i am going to save account iphone app dot zip file okay i have already available if you want i can change it so in this location i have exported my project okay now i am going to show you how to deploy our mule application into docker image so first we need docker base image let me explain this is the sample docker file okay uh, i am going to have docker image based on the java version java 8 version from where i am going to download means from docker remote repository java 8 based docker image first i am going to download the maintainer you can give your email id the environment variable mule home this is the uh, home path for mule application in docker image opt slash mule then version i am going to use current version 3.8.1 the setup commands are available you can see here which means i am going to download a repository i mean the mule standalone package from remote repository and save it and extract it and remove it where i am putting this packages means under this opt folder okay then i am switching to working directory mule home app mule under this path there are four folders apps conf and domains and logs which means the apps folder will have only our application conf folder will have configuration files okay the wrapper conf file okay domains folder will have domain domain related files logs files you can mm, track the mule application log okay this is the entry point for our applications this docker file 
okay i'm having separately you can you can see here this docker file i'm having here in workspace in my workspace so i have already run this docker file using this command docker build dac hyphen 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 tag account hyphen app dot which means uh, from the java 8 version you can see the tag image from version 8 i'm going to create new tag along with the, my packages along with the mule standalone packages along with the mule standalone packages okay So the docker image you can see account hyphen app so i am tagging the new docker image for our mule app okay so the latest package which i have downloaded from remote so now you can see the new docker image the latest version account app so this docker image having java 8 version along with the mule standalone package 3.8.1 version now i am going to show you how to deploy our application custom application i mean mule custom application into docker image so already so already we saw we have exported i mean we have exported the zip file into these locations correct so we have the account app and the zip file in these locations and also i am having the docker file in these locations what i am going to do from the account app docker image from the account app docker image from this image i am going to create i am going to deploy my project into this image so that's why this docker file from this image i am going to add my exported gif file okay from this folder apps folder then the port number 8081 which we are going to use for our application okay go go to the command prompt go to the account so use this command I am going to build one more tab I am going to build docker image which means whatever you have the, uh, the zip file which is going to deploy into the existing docker image so you can see now successfully built okay so now we'll see the docker images so the latest images previously you can see 821 mb now you can see 857 mb which means our zip file is deployed into account app docker image now we, uh, we can uh, we will see how to run our docker image this is the sample command to run the docker image so docker run the th terminal okay the port number 8081 account app let's see our docker is running or not so after executing this command okay yeah you can see our application is deployed successfully now we are going to test our application so this is our application is rest api no? so here you can go i am using the rest client tool to test our applications so what i am going to use http colon colon localhost the port number which we are using 8081 then api plus accounts 
okay for get operation click this url you can get 200 the response body the account id name account id name so the get operation is working fine now we are going to create we are going to use a post operation for post operation we need data so copy this data put it to here click now you can see 201 header so account is created successfully now we will see put operation for put operation what we need we need the account id specific account id 12345 then the data we need to update So account is updated successfully you can see 200 now we are going to see the delete operations so for particular account you can delete you can pass the account id as a query parameter but i am using account id in the body of the content in my applications to delete existing accounts you can get 200 account is deleted successfully okay so this is the way deploying application i mean the mule application into docker image the thing is you need docker base image for mule esp then you have to create export gif, GIF file for your application your custom project then you need to deploy your application into docker image then you need to start the docker container then you can test it that's it thank you for watching this video